So, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to start talking about, you don't have a sheet of paper? No? Hey, could you give them a sheet of paper so you that one? Um, so what we're going to talk about is the area of a parallelogram, all right? And the main important thing that I want you guys to understand about the area of a parallelogram is the area of a parallelogram can be understood by a sum of its parts. So first of all, let's just go and take a look at a rectangle real quick. And Mario, do you remember the, how to find the area of a rectangle? Do you remember? Do you remember what the formula was? No? It's okay. Berta, do you remember? Asia, do you remember? Area of a rectangle. Uh, look too much. Blake, do you remember the area for a rectangle? Nobody remembers? Yeah. Yeah, length times width, right? All you're doing is you're just finding the area of the rectangle, you're just going to multiply the length times width. Now, what we're going to be doing in this case is we're going to be talking about bases and heights, all right? So length times width is perfectly fine, but in this case, what we're going to do for the area is going to be base times height, where that's your base and that's your height. And that's simply all you do is make the product of those provide you the area, the space within the rectangle, all right? Now, when we're uh, looking at this parallelogram, all right, remember the base is going to be, if you're going to kind of sit something down, right, label it, you know, you have like a base of a, of a lamp. The base is where it sits on, right? So you won't see like this point is the base, but it's going to be the side that this um, parallelogram is laying on. Now, what I want you guys to understand is, if I was to kind of make a, a right angle, all right, and let's say I cut that. Take a little scissors. And I cut out that little, and I cut out that little edge, right? Because that now makes a right angle. Do you guys think, and I know my triangle is not the best. Yes, you can. But can I kind of put that right there? Yeah. Does that kind of look, look like that? And then, if I put that right there, and I know it's a little bit, it's kind of slanted, but that's okay. Does that not look like a rectangle? Yeah. Yes, so Jessica, the main thing that I want you guys to understand is obviously for a rectangle, your formula is area equals base times height. And for a parallelogram, which looks something like this, parallelogram could be anything, right? It could even be very slanted. The area of a parallelogram is also base times height. Okay, fair enough, right? So for all parallelograms, you're going to have area equals base times height. Because all, I need to, all I'm doing, a parallelogram can be represented as a rectangle. By taking that edge and putting it over there, it now produces a rectangle. Does that make sense, Alexander? Yeah. Kind of a little bit? So all right, they're the yeah. same thing. They're the same thing. Very good. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at a problem. Do you guys want to do an easy?